knowing what I know about humanity and seeing the world around me, but then being told that these are the rules that you're supposed to follow, I just couldn't connect those two things. So that idea of abstractness is just the idea that there's something out there, there's someone out there. His name is supposed to be God, but how do you um, merge those two ideas together of like what you see in the world and what you're being told at church, in a church where you're just supposed to check all these boxes. My name is Amanda Oxler. I've been coming to Christ's community for just under a year on a regular basis. God's always been something that I knew in my life, but very abstractly, I went to a few different types of churches, had some life experiences that always kept him very far away from me. And as I grew up and became an adult and had a family, it just, it was never, God was never really a priority, just something that was there. We were invited to church once by a member here named Ashley Newcomb, and she asked us to come and we just said, sure, let's just try it out. And when that happened, we stepped into Christ's community and that day I really felt like a connection to the church. Still coming to church on a regular basis was not a priority for us. But I started to hear like, I kind of said in my statement, like a whisper, like this is kind of what you've been looking for. So about a year ago, she asked us to come again and we came that day and it felt, I just really felt a pull. And so then Ashley and I sat down and had a conversation one night. I asked a lot of questions about Christ's community. I asked a lot of questions about the beliefs that Christ's community has. And she actually encouraged me that night to try out Rooted. So I um, did a little bit more soul searching and decided to join Rooted. And when I got to Rooted, I met this group of women that just were amazing. And they really solidified in me that Christ's community church and the the way that they teach the Bible and the way that they talk about here's a passage and let's talk about what that means and how you can apply this to your actual life as opposed to just all these rules that I'm supposed to follow. And they let me ask, and in Rooted, they let me ask so many questions. I became the girl that was like, I'm sure she's got a question about this. <laughs> um, and that whole time, I really felt like that whisper was getting just louder and louder. And it was like, this is what you've been looking for. So in like the third or fourth week of Rooted, you do a night or a day, you do 24 hour fasting. And that night they lead you through a guided prayer session. And that was kind of the moment that changed everything for me. During that guided prayer session, I wasn't, I still wasn't fully bought in. I, I had been taking bigger steps, but I wasn't fully bought in. And during that prayer session, I just, I asked for forgiveness from, from God for, for so many things in my life. And for the first time ever, I really felt like he heard me, like he understood where I was coming from and I felt forgiven. And that was the moment that everything changed for me. Um, so since then, we've been coming more often. I'm now a part of a community group with those same women. They've become a huge part of my life and this this is just my next step into saying, I surrender, like this is this is the life that I'm looking for.